Hi, this uh, is going to be a short video on proving uh, the law of cosines. So, uh, when we're proving the law of cosines, we're going to take a triangle, in this case I have this one, and we're going to draw a height, and we're going to see how we can express all the different things. So I'm going to call this side x, and uh, since this whole side is b, the length of this will be b minus x. Okay. Uh, we should be able to see that from this triangle here, from triangle CBD, uh, CBD, uh, the value of x is going to be a times cosine c. So now we're going to take a look at two different right triangles and uh, let's start with this one. So this triangle CBD we know that x squared plus h squared equals a squared. From this triangle, we know that h squared plus b minus x squared equals c squared. This is based on the Pythagorean theorem for each right triangle. One leg squared plus the other leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. One leg squared times plus another leg squared equals a hypotenuse squared. So here's what we're going to, to do. We're going to write this as h squared plus b squared minus 2bx plus x squared equals c squared. And I'm going to take this equation and subtract that equation from it. So h squared plus b squared minus 2bx plus x squared equals c squared minus, and here I'm going to have x squared plus h squared equals a squared. So here's what's going to happen here. If you look at this, h squared minus h squared is going to cancel and x squared minus x squared is going to cancel. So what are we left with? We're left with b squared minus 2bx on this side and on the other side we're going to have c squared minus a <coughs> squared, excuse me. So we will remember at this point that x is a times cosine c. So we're going to rewrite that as b squared minus 2b times a times cosine c equals c squared minus a squared. Okay. All we need to do now is reorganize the terms. So well, basically what we do is we're going to add a squared on both sides. And we're going to get the following expression, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus, I'm just going to write 2ab, 2ab times cosine c. And that's one of the expressions. All the other expressions can be derived the same exact way. Okay? That's it.